I'm so sorry to the people of southwest London that hear this glorious sound coming from a distance and they turn in excitement to see what is that? Is that a Lamborghini? Is that a Zonda? And then they see a BMW 7 Series with my baby, although quite fat and chubby, little face grinning away in it. I do apologise. It's not what you want to see. And I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> a while back you saw me take my 2007 BMW 760 Li V12 to RBM Hampshire, which is my chosen BMW specialist. Now, in that video, they did sort of an inspection, a full sort of look around and check, and then gave me a quote. And that quote came back at about 1,500 quid for various things. However, since that video, the car has spent three weeks down at RBM Hampshire getting all of those bits and some other things addressed. It's actually turned out differently to what that original quote said, so now that the car's back on my driveway, I thought, well, it'd be a good opportunity to take it out for a drive, listen to that V12 again, and explain to you everything that's, that's been fixed on the car and how much it's cost me. <laughs> it makes me so happy just to get in this car. And don't forget, it's straight pipe. So we're gonna hear the V12 sound. Ready? <laughs> so whilst we wait for the car to warm up ever so slightly, I must thank BOTB for sponsoring today's video. They are literally contributing to me owning the 760 Li, so I cannot thank them enough. Now, apart from being my heroes, BOTB are the dream car competition who give away two cars every single week in their dream car and midweek car competitions. They've also recently lowered all their ticket prices and added 50,000 pounds in cash to every single car in the dream car competition. So there's over 150 cars you can choose from on their website. Anything from like the brand new M3 competition to latest gen Z4s or even older things like the legendary E46 M3. Besides all that though, I have to say, this is probably my favorite right now. It's a humongous RV. So needless to say, there is a ton of cars and RVs to choose from um, with tickets starting from just £1.50. Over two decades of winners, uh, BOTB have now given away over £38 million worth of prizes. And I can certainly attest to the longevity of the competition because there is a photo of me in 2005 at Heathrow Airport sitting in a BOTB Bentley Continental GT. I'll never forget that. And of course now you could be the very next winner. You must uh, be over 17 years old to play. However, you don't have to be over 17 years old to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below saying how much weight I've put on during lockdown. So please do go ahead and abuse me in the comments, like this video and subscribe now so that I can keep working with incredible sponsors like BOTB and continue to buy awesome slash stupid cars. But anyway, let's find out how stupid I was buying this. Cars warmed up now. Let's go for a little drive. So foot on the brake, into drive, parking brake off. Are you all comfy in the back there? Wonderful. Do you want the blinds up or down? Should we, let's have the blinds. That's the rear blind. You can have the rear blind closed for now. And off we go. Right, before we get going, I'm just gonna pop on my, um, mm, what do we have? Bum massager, I like that. Do I want a heated or cooled seat today? I'm gonna have cooled. Oh yeah. Oh, already feel the air blowing. Thing just glides over speed bumps. I mean, I'd imagine if you, you know, ran over a child, you might not feel it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, actually? <laughs> so, until very recently, uh, my 7 Series was off the driveway for three weeks exactly actually it was at rbm hampshire for 
for three weeks and I have to say well a that was a lot longer than I was expecting and I really really missed the car while it was gone I think I was probably winding up Ross at RBM a fair bit with daily messages pestering him for updates however there is a reason it took three weeks it wasn't meant to take three weeks but something did go go wrong but let's just recap quickly on that original quote which was I think just a smidgen over 1500 pounds well the idea behind that video in the first place was to just get a ballpark idea of what could be wrong with the car the car was misfiring ever so slightly um, it had a bit of coolant loss there was things like a bit of water leaking in the back and a few other bits and the idea behind that video was to like I say just get a get an idea of how bad this was gonna be you know had I actually bought a Margot Robbie car you know looks nice seems okay on the outside but you know she's gonna be a real underneath it all or had I indeed bought a really good example and so we got that quote from RBM Hampshire and I'm pleased to now say <laughs> the car is now running like an absolute dream I've waited around, well, a few weeks actually to film this video after receiving the car back from RBM because I wanted to, to make sure and put some miles on the car before coming back to you and saying everything was okay. But, touch wood, of which I've got a lot of it in this car, <laughs> um, touch wood, everything so far isn't, uh, hasn't undone itself, let's say. So there's still a few warnings you may have noticed come up with that GoPro um, looking at the, the cluster there, the instrument cluster. I've got a fog light warning that's come up, you know, not really a problem, I'll get that sorted at some point. And also, I decided not to pay the £200 or so to have the parking sensor uh, replaced at the front. So I still get the PDC failure warning coming up most days, um, however, most of the time they actually work completely fine it's just the one at the front that's that's not but nonetheless mechanically in terms of the engine we seem all good misfires haven't come back the coolant drop or the coolant loss issue hasn't yet come back so I'm pretty confident that I can sit here and tell you that actually I've bought a good car because the price that I paid for all the repairs wasn't £1,600 it was actually just under a thousand which I'm very very happy about so I've actually got the invoice in the back of the car with all of the other things and exactly what was done and I can't remember off the top of my head so I think what I'll do now is probably turn back round go and park up jump in the bag play with the toys again can't I and um, yeah give you a full rundown of exactly what's happened and exactly how much I spent You really wouldn't think driving this car with aggression <laughs> that it's a 2.2 or 3 or 4 or 5, I don't know, a big two ton barge. Whilst I'm just driving back and I'm on the motorway, you might actually be interested to know what the drone is like with the recent straight pipe I had on this car. So I'm sitting at 70 miles per hour, which is about 115 kmh for those of you on the continent. And in sixth gear, oh sorry, here we go. Sixth gear, it's actually no drone really. If you have to accelerate a little bit, there's a bit of a drone, but it's really not that bad. When you get a little bit faster, around 85, 90 miles an hour, which of course I haven't done because that would be exceeding the speed limit, it does get a fair bit worse. And I find myself having to put the car into sport mode which I've obviously I've never done because I haven't ever exceeded 70 miles per hour. Um, and because the revs are slightly higher, it's actually less boomy and quieter. But for the most part, I'm not completely annoyed with the straight pipes yet. I'm still in the sort of phase where I'm finding it absolutely flipping hilarious every time I get in the car. And it, and it is, it really is hilarious. In terms of fuel economy, now you all want, you, you, you love, you love telling me how much this costs to put fuel in. Well, believe me, I know. It's about 100 quid to fill up because it's a 88 litre tank. Um, so for the prices in the UK are around 120, 130 a litre for premium. It's just over 100 quid. So it's quite expensive to fill up. And how far will 110 quid get me? Well, it's about 300 to 400 miles depending on how I drive. At the moment, my long term average is 15.15.3 miles per gallon. Um, 
depends how you look at it really I mean that's an awful figure in today's day and age I suppose but from my perspective it's smiles per gallon isn't it I honestly don't really think about it which is probably quite a privileged position to be in and it does cost a lot of money but I think it's totally worth it but 15 mpg although having said that that is a long-term average and on a longer run the other day I actually averaged 28 miles per gallon so you can if you want to drive this car reasonably economically however why the bloody hell would you do that when you've got a straight pipe b12 i have found myself at a light here i'm going to put the car in sport mode i'm going to flash this kia out of the way no, i've not actually flashed him don't worry but let's see if we can get past this kia picanto and stretch out the old legs of this naughty girl here we go you ready i'm going to go up this side doesn't half pull this car oh my goodness what a thing we don't have a throttle pedal in this car we have a surge pedal you ready surge <laughs> it really is a surge of power I'm so sorry to the people of southwest London that hear this glorious sound coming from a distance and they turn in excitement to see what is that is that a Lamborghini is that a Zonda and then they see a BMW 7 Series with my baby, although quite fat and chubby, little face grinning away in it. I do apologise. It's not what you want to see. And I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> and just waft over the bump here. Oh. actually opening the bloody door for myself. Ah, I must respect my own rules actually and pop on my slippers. Very good. So, right, what I've got here then, oh, I wanted to show you this actually, this car does come with an additional cowl, which is the service booklet cover. This is honestly like thick. Mm. Almost smells as good as the paintwork. In here though, I do have uh, both quotes from RBM. The original quote which we referred to and the latter quote which I need to tell you more about. So, on the original quote, the price was £1,519.86. That included removing and replacing the coolant expansion tank cap, which was sort of the first thing we were gonna try in the coolant issue. Turned out obviously not to be that, which I'll explain in a moment. Removing and replacing the brake flexi hoses at the back, fluid change after doing the flexi hoses, um, stripping the brake on the offside rear to remove the stone that was caught in there, remove and replace the painted PDC sensor front, center, right, which is see, something I just explained I didn't opt to do. Carry out a water leak test because it was wet in the rear passenger footwell. Um, and then removing and replacing the top arm on the front right. Uh, fuel injectors 7, 9 and 10 as we spoke about and cleaning off the engine oil leak and sort of just monitoring it from there. So that all came to £1,519.86, large part of which being £774 before VAT, so around, I don't know, 930 £940 with that, of that 1500 being the fuel injectors. Anyway, so the car went back for further investigation off camera um, to actually get things fixed and... What uh, happened was as followed. It was actually, so it took three weeks, which is a lot longer than I, I wanted, but there was one particular reason for that, and that was to do with the coolant issue. Coolant was a bit of a nightmare. I'll try my best to explain. Obviously, I'm, I'm not a mechanic, but basically what happened is previously this car had had the Bimmer Fix stent um, fitted to it, part of that. Um, I think the previous owner, uh, JM on, on Cars, as you'll know him, did that. So essentially what happened is RBM pulled apart the... Um, engine uh, as much as possible to sort of investigate the coolant loss further they couldn't really work out where it was they went and replaced the water pump seal and thermostat seal and replaced the thermostat short pipe into the valley i think then what happened and this might be in the wrong order so i do apologize <laughs> um what happened is once they put it all back together 
the Bimifix stint that had been done before was then leaking from the weep hole, which is a known issue with that fix, and therefore they agreed to send out a replacement part, even though I hadn't bought it originally myself. So that was what the big delay was, because Bimifix are based over in Arizona, and it took, I think, maybe with communication, well, a week, a week and a half for that replacement to come. Obviously then pulling the engine apart again to replace that Bimifix component is quite a laborious job that takes a lot of time. And with RBM being as busy as they were, it took a little while for them to get round um, to doing it. And of course, I haven't even gone through all the other things that they were doing yet. That fix came to £400. I did also have to um, pay for postage of that part from Bimifix, which I suppose is what it is. And that was about $70 or something like that, around £50. So around 450 quid for the coolant issues, which... I'm pretty happy with because it seems to be absolutely fine, which is brilliant. Touch wood, touch high quality luxury wood. There we go. So then the next important thing was the engine misfires. Now this is probably the best news to come out of everything. So obviously the fuel injectors was like a, a worst case scenario quote without doing further inspection. So from further inspection, what they found um, to be the component that seemed to be failing was um, the engine breather valves from both of them. So there's two of them on this engine. And so both of those were replaced at a cost of £73. And that, plus, plus VAT, and that has fixed the misfire issue. So 73 plus VAT and also the 35 to sort of diagnose the issue. Um, so just over 120 quid or so. And the misfires are fixed. So that's a lot better than the original 940 it was looking like for the, for the fuel injectors. So again, so far so good. Not had any more misfires from the engine, no lights, nothing like that. I'm very, very happy indeed. I mean, that they sort of discovered it to be such a cheap fix. And like I say, seems to be fine. So they were the two biggies really, coolant and engine misfires, both sorted. Now in addition, um, what else did they do? Well, they carried out a test for the water ingress that was going on. They couldn't find anything obvious. Um, and so I just said to leave it. To be honest, even now sitting here, it's still not wet. So I don't know what was causing that, but obviously it doesn't seem to be something too recurring. It could even have just been that I left the window open one night or something and it just got drenched. But ever since the I Valet guys sort of pulled out the interior and cleaned it up, it's not got wet down here again. So that just seems to be a non-issue really. Both rear brake flexi hoses were uh, replaced and a brake fluid pressure bleed was completed at the cost of £106 before VAT. The near side right suspension top arm was replaced at the cost of 142.23 plus VAT. And that's it. I did also ask them to replace a speaker just behind the camera I'm looking at there uh, because I've heard some sort of cracking from it and I thought I'd blown it. They did replace that, found it wasn't that. It seems like it's an amplifier. And so I didn't end up paying for that, but that was £73 to replace that speaker. But of course, that money was returned because it didn't actually fix the issue and the speaker's been returned. So, that was it. Total on here is £1,047.43, including VAT. However, the speaker itself was about an £80 uh, job. So, that's been refunded. And actually, the total cost is about £970. £970, and this car is running completely seamlessly. I mean, it's it's remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable. And you may have noticed from some of my shots earlier, I took it upon myself to replace the rear sort of tow hook cover that was winding all of you up. That was about 40 quid painted, which is quite a lot of money for a piece of plastic, but it needed replacing and that is now done. So where we sit now is in a, a beautiful, beautiful 760Li which I couldn't be happier with. So I want to thank VOTB uh, once more for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate it. Please do go ahead and check the links in the description and check out um, their website and maybe enter yourself into win something pretty special. But uh, in true It's Your Fashion now, I'm going to say goodbye to you and probably just sit and stroke my <laughs> lovely headlining and, and play with the toys in the back of my 7 Series. So have a great rest of your weekend, guys, and I'll see you very, very soon.